Thank you for tuning in to Cop with Comic. I'm Brian Cop, and we're here with Comic Kevin Sanchez. Kevin Sanchez, how the hell are you? Boy, I'm doing great, man. How you feeling, baby? Oh, good, man. You are live with Sanchez. I know I follow you on Instagram and Twitter. You are live with Sanchez. Was there another less funny Kevin Sanchez? Uh, probably. I just <laughs> uh, listen. I just wanted. Uh, I just wanted to be cute with it. I guess. Yeah. You know, if I I, I don't want to be the 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 comic that comes up and he has like a nickname on stage. Yeah. I don't want to be that comedian. Yeah, you're like if you're seeing me, you probably saw me live. So live with Sanchez is the only yeah. thing, you're, only thing you really give a shit about. And That's you got a new podcast coming out with Josh Pallet. You guys had low end gigolos, but uh, oh, we, had, we had low I think, end uh, Caps yeah. Caps was there. Yeah, Jonathan Kaplan was part of that, and he split off. And so, what's your new podcast? Oh, uh, the Mac Almanac, and yeah. the Mac the Mac Almanac is where like we discuss uh, our dating lives. Yeah. We discuss, we go through like what we think is weird about dating, what we love about dating, and what people should and maybe shouldn't do. You know, yeah, well, that that fits in perfectly because I talked I talked to Josh Josh Joshua Pallet about it, and he said something like, "You guys were giving uh, Jonathan Kaplan shit over him not fucking without condoms or whatever." And I was like, "Dude, Joshua Pallet and even Kevin Sanchez is like, I don't really date, and I want to ask you the same question: like, how do you date? How do you, you know? Even during you know Corona and shit like this, you guys are." Are, are getting with strangers, fucking, they might have the virus, they might have disease, they might trap you with disease and pregnancy or relationships worse. Like, how the fuck are you doing this? Well, for starters, no one's trapping me with pregnancy, okay? Okay, all right. Um, you, ra- even, you wrap it up or you're shooting blanks? Uh, I wrap it up, and if yeah. we decide to take it to the next level where I'm not wrapping it up, I, I have a, a, a for sure fire system that always work. Okay. Uh, when I pull out, I pull out on the inhale. <laughs> so that's the big mistake a lot of these guys do okay they 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 pull out but they're exhaling out here no you gotta pull out on the inhale all right so you go one two pull motherfucker i'm tired of these dudes shooting into these shooting these girls up all right and they don't understand how to properly pull out now nah, i gave you that that's I a love gift that. for me to you motherfuckers out there. Oh, can I that's come That's precious. This? That's precious, man. That, that's worth a, like a million dollars. You just saved so many pregnancies in the city of New York City. Listen, man, I'm saving you pregnancies. Um, uh, maybe we could take our tax dollars out of uh, Planned Parenthood and, <laughs> and put it in something a little, I mean, at least for the abortion segment of Planned, Planned Parenthood. <laughs> we could put it saving in people's taxes too, man. I'm yeah. saving people on top. Come on, boy. I'm, I might run for mayor on that platform. <laughs> but yeah, but like Mac is in, in Mac Daddy. Like it's player. You guys are a couple of players. You guys are out there fucking slanging the puss. I mean, and so, not, so Mac it's, not play, it's not just about players, right? It's okay. about like really dating. And okay. like, uh, I feel like a lot of women get a lot of help from other women when it comes to dating. And yeah. men, we're just out there just doing our thing and not really asking each other for advice, you know? Uh, and so what's that, some advice that guys would need? Because aren't they just like, you know, going on the apps, playing the numbers game, you know, just putting as many lines in the fucking pond as they can and seeing who bites, even if the chick is nasty? No, that's what exactly. Like, listen, if you're that guy, there's nothing wrong with being that guy, okay? Yeah. If that's what you do, that's what you do. Maybe our podcast is not for you, right? <laughs> Right? You're who you're, you're who that you I mean that's the guy you can help though with the Mac Almanac. Now if you're a guy who's like you know what I need to change this up a little bit. Yeah. I'm over here bringing walruses home like <laughs> I'm over here I'm over here like bringing somebody that if my mother found me in the streets with she will grab me by my hand and say no. She said no mijo get the fuck no, out mijo. of here. No mijo get out of here okay. <laughs> And off, on the off chance that y'all have a child, I can't let this be. I don't want to see that face during Thanksgiving. If you're that guy, this podcast is for you if you want to change your life a, a little bit. Yeah, because- and so what, you know, so without giving away the storm, without, you know, to make sure that people could still buy the Mac Almanac, what's in the free version? Like, what are some, what's, like, like classify these tips for I'm, us I'm, so I'm, we can like, know what like, to expect? Yo, honestly... I mean, this has been told a thousand times, and it can't be told enough. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And his, you need to jerk off before you let out your inner creep. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Gosh, some of these sure. do. My lord. Like, listen. I listen, and I listen to a lot of women. I have a lot of uh, girlfriends per se, if you will. 
right? Like, yeah, hook me up, dude. Uh, yo, listen. With the uh, non walrus, non walrus No, 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 no. I got you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> And don't and yo, don't get it twisted. I brought listen, Josh has seen me bring people around It's like, hey Kev, what's going on? Okay? Like, he pulls me I'm to the side. Yeah. He pull he'll pull me to the side. Hey Kev. Hey Kev. <laughs> what are you doing out here? Okay? You too drunk? You too drunk? You too high? Hey, no, no, he'll like, he'll do a sniff <laughs> test. <laughs> he'll be like, hey, hey buddy, I don't smell enough alcohol on you. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even got that as an excuse. You're kind of sober out here. But yeah. um, I want to, I and, and it's not just for men, though. I want to preface that. It's not just for men. Yeah. I think you give it a lot of advice to women, too, in terms of how to handle this situation where you're in a situation ship. Yeah. You know, like a lot of this in 2020, we're in a lot of situation ships. We're not in real relationships anymore. Uh-huh. I think it's because we're smarter than our predecessors. Okay. Like, uh, yeah. So we're smarter than them. We, we understand we have way more options. Yeah. You know? So, and, and we live in a, in a, in a community of people that love our options. Yeah. And, and it's hard to navigate. The truth is, it's very hard to navigate these situations, my brother. Too many options. We have too many options. And, yeah. and, and that's just what it is. We're, we're having a good time. And we're having a good time out here. Right. But like, how the fuck do you narrow them down then? I mean, like, you know. You don't. All right, you just you play them. You just play them all, right? No, no, no. You listen. It'll narrow it down itself, right? Uh... It'll it'll narrow it down. You don't have to waste stress. Like the person you like, you will gravitate to. That's just okay. what it is. And wow. if they like you, they'll gravitate to you too. And if they don't, you're gonna get the message quick these days. They'll yeah. answer you with one word. They'll 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 um, or they'll take a couple you know a couple days to respond. Sometimes yeah. we don't live in a world where that's a that's a that's a norm anymore. Now, if you don't respond, you know, within a couple of hours and it's a decent sentence, you know, like, I'm just going to assume that you don't like me like that. Yeah. You know? But and, I, I, what about the testing? Like, like, you know, they won't even give you a second date, third date because they think you're playing the field. Like, you know, I mean, if you don't got enough time with all the ladies, how do you know which one you're gravitating towards? Like, you got to know... You, know, you got to know the chick before you gravitate towards the chick, but if they're not giving you the time because you're not committing soon enough or whatever, how are you going to do it? Okay, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand your question. Are yeah, I mean, you... like you're you're playing the field. Yeah, three girls at once, but like, so you don't even know which one you're gravitating. You know, you have two dates with each one, and you don't know which one you like the best yet. But a couple of them are like, I don't want to even go on a third date with Kevin Sanchez because I know he's not a one woman man. Well, now here's the thing: I didn't say I'm not a one woman man. Uh, right now i have to like you enough to be like you know what we'll have that discussion when it comes right like i i play it like uh i try not I, i'm 29 right so i have a little bit of experience out here in these streets yeah and uh <laughs> so i, I don't <laughs> i uh i don't jump the gun quickly okay. but i also I, I have a good idea of when you know what i like this girl i'm just gonna try to commit to her Oh. You know, that, 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 th- there's a time and a place for that. There's a time and a place for everything. And I feel it out. I have good instincts, I think, when yeah, it comes so, to that. So, but you see, you're fine with relationships, but what if, what if you're like me and you think relationship is a trap? You're like, I don't want to end up with a wife and a kid. If you don't want to end up with a wife and a kid, then you got to let that be known from the beginning. Okay. Somewhere in the beginning. Yeah. Right now, if you want to have fun with someone, right? Uh, this, this, is the, this is where you, because Brian, I'm assuming you're a good guy. Let's assume you're a good guy, okay? okay. <laughs> for the sake of argument, that's good. Yeah, for the sake for of the, the sake, I don't know. Okay. I, don't, I, I mean, I met you 10 minutes ago. You know? Like, <laughs> I think you could tell. Yeah, I'm, I'm I, I, have a feeling, yeah. I have a feeling you're a, a, a good guy, straight and narrow, maybe a little heartbroken here and there. Yeah, right? you're, yeah you're going to tell me about your not, you're going to tell me to your non walrus girls that I'm a good dude. I think that's a good thing to say to them. Yeah, right? So you're yeah. a good guy, but let's say you want to have fun, right? Yeah. That you don't even bring up any of that shit. Because okay. you're just trying to have fun. Right. And you got to let that conversation come out naturally. Okay. Women have the propensity to yeah. let you know yeah. when the fuck they want something serious with you. And yeah. that's when you got to be a man, though. Okay. You see, you got to be a, a, a man. You got to be an adult. Okay. Right? And, and, and just say, hey, listen, you're looking for this. Uh, I'm not looking for that. And you oh, I don't, sh- I don't see that kind of relationship with you. Yeah. And so you're right. like, yeah, so let's go our separate ways and maybe she'll she'll. You don't even uh, say separate in. ways. You don't even okay. say that shit. All right. Right? If, especially if you want to keep messing around with her. Yeah. You let her know instantly how you, like, oh, I don't really see us 
I don't, I'm not looking for anything too serious. That's the way I say it. Okay. Uh, and then if she says you, if she says, um, you know, I am, so therefore this is over. Then that's that's what you gotta live with. Yeah. Right? You gotta just own you, you just own up to your shit. Yeah. And if she, she might a lot of the times they're like, you know what? If that's the case, okay, I can understand that we could continue messing. But if I'm gonna I'm gonna actively look, you gotta be prepared. Yeah. For that too, like she's gonna find somebody else that is willing to give her what she wants. Yeah, but that brings me to my big old question, which and I've said this to a girl once. I was like, "I'm not gonna kiss you on the mouth if you've been sucking some dude's dick." And I don't, you know, she's like, "You're gonna fuck me." I'm like, "I'm not gonna fuck you." It's like you've been sucking some. Like, how can you? Yeah, you know, how how can you, Kevin Sanchez, kiss a stranger? She's been sucking on some dude's dick. That's nasty. Ah, oh, listen, brother. <laughs> I don't think it's nasty. Because lips like, don't have no memory, right? Like, dick don't stay on the lips. Like, she's brushed, like, brushed her teeth. She brushed her teeth, right? Like, I don't... <laughs> she used Listerine? Like, she... Does she have genuine... Like, does she have a good hygiene? Now, she stink like dick. Right? There is one girl I know. I'm not going to say her name. I love her to death. She's my friend. Okay. But every time I talk to her, she smells like a new cock. You understand? Oh, oh. I swear to God, she smells like a cock. Oh, and, oh. I, I, and I tell my buddy this all the time. I'm not going to say which buddy. Okay. And, and he laughs so hard because yeah. I think I know what you're talking about. Oh, and I'm like, no, 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 you don't think you know what I talk, I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm talking about. But she's so hot. She's so beautiful that people, people don't even try to realize. As a matter of fact, I think it's like a perfume she wears to attract other men or some shit. You know, <laughs> you, you know how they say if women, uh, if you wear women perfume, that you will attract women? Yeah. I think this girl got some like she she got some dick spray or some shit. And oh, dude, no. I mean, she has the most flirtatious eyes in the world. Oh, and she knows hot what though. That's tragic. And, and so but, you don't mess with her though, because she, she don't even use Listerine for you. Well, she's well, she's just a she's a friend anyway. Okay. Just a friend. Right. And uh because she messes with one of my friends. Yeah. Uh, but I told him like, Yo, she's all like, your friends. She smells like dick to me, bro. Yeah. And and he was like, I kinda see it. I kinda see it. <laughs> You don't kind of smell it. You, you all the way smell it. You all the way. If you kind of think you smell it, you smell it, baby. You yeah, don't gotta lie. And so, and so, I mean, like, you think Listerine is good enough? She's fucking some dude on the side. She that's just went on. The, she just that's went down on a dude. She was giving a dude road head right before your date. Uh, that's and you're different. fine going out there. That's different. First of all, I don't know any girl who's gonna be like, yo. By the way, I was just sucking somebody's dick. <laughs> Actually, yeah. that she happened. Admit, to me. She wouldn't that, admit it, but you that, know. Uh, I don't listen. I like to believe that people are better people than that, okay. and um, I also like to believe that people don't have the time to just be giving roadhead and then go on a date with me. Right? That's the that's the that's the ignorance I like to live in. Good. Right? Okay, it takes a little bit of ignorance to play the field. I think you got to be a little ignorant. Yeah. You got to willfully ignorant sometimes. That's a, that's the Mac Almanac, man. That's the Mac Almanac. That's the type of shit you can get on the Mac Almanac, yo. Yeah, but I mean, how'd you... I mean, you and Joshua Pallet are some funny motherfuckers, man. Like, how can you even... Like, you guys just are both nonstop jokes. How can you both get a joke in edgewise on the on the podcast coming out? When's it coming out? Uh, well, we have a couple of, uh, in the bag, right? Okay. And me and Josh has been, have been doing a podcast called The Low End Gigolos, which you can find on almost any streaming of any podcast. Yeah. And uh, we have two years of doing podcasts together. We do a lot of work together. Okay. And we have a good rapport. Like, when you listen to the Mac Almanac, you know, I, there's times where I'm talking, Josh knows, shut the fuck up, this guy's going in. Yeah. Right? And there's times where he's talking, I know, shut the fuck up, this guy's going in. Yes. All yeah, right. I, could, I could even sense it here, man. You were going in for, I mean, but you're just going in for half an hour, man. It's so fucking hilarious, dude. Like, and that's why it's good I'm not a comic, you know, because like, because then people are like, no, nah, this is all about me. And I'm like, absolutely. That's why it's called Copping with Comic, because I want funny motherfuckers like Kevin Sanchez to go in all episode. That's what I want. And so, like, how are you guys organizing your madness? Like, so Mac Almanac episode one, what was that about? Like, do you guys pick a big topic? We pick uh, three to Well, the first topic is like a pilot. You know, I mean, the first episode was like a pilot episode. Right. We didn't know where we were going with it, but then as we went on, we like rest we, we restarted the the podcast like twice, okay. um, and then we we picked one topic and then we ran with it, and then we closed out with some um, uh, with some advice at the end, right? Okay. And Good. then uh, the second episode, we actually had three topics, uh, ready to go. 
uh, and we try to stay with like 15 minutes a piece each topic. Yeah. You know, maybe we tell a story from a date Good. that relates to the topic, and we we don't give any names, and uh, uh, we try to be as respectful as possible to the people we've dated. Uh, yeah, man, and and, we, and Josh and I, we're, we're, I mean, you feel the vibe, you know? Yes. Oh my lord! And so, like, uh, what I would love though is after a while, you guys are gonna have like a million fans, and so are these people able to be like. Yo, I need some advice and, you know, tweet that's at coming. you or whatever. That is coming, yes. my Yes. Of course yes. that's coming. Of course that has to come. Yeah, I because will... you guys are like high-level Mackage or whatever, and like us, us dipshits down here looking for walruses, like we <laughs> need we need to like give you our shit because if you're just high-level, like I'm listening to you guys, I was like, I can't even play at that level. But if you're taking questions from dumbasses like me, then I'm listening. I'm like, oh, yeah, that same stupid question. Please help us along to the advanced level of Mackery. Ma- well, yeah, that's exactly what we're shooting for. And it's not, I, I, honestly, it's not just for Max, right? It's not just right. for, like, if you if you want to be pimping that day, maybe yeah. we'll have a just pimping episode. But it's really about, it's really about, because me and Josh, like, uh, what, we, like, what we have in common when it comes to our dating lives is, yeah. uh, and the reason why women like us is because we're, we're not faking the funk with them. Like, when I'm with a girl, like, I need to feel chemistry. I need to feel... Like, there's something there. If I don't feel it, I don't want to have sex with you. I don't want to, like, really get intimate with you. Nice. Because I don't want... I, I know it's fake. I know it's not real. Yeah. Nothing more pimp than that than telling a girl no no, because you're not feeling it, you know? You're not feeling the chemistry. And it's like, That's the oh, shit, man. He, he girl, said bro. that he didn't feel the chemistry. And then the friend, her hot friend, is like, I got to get with this Kevin Sanchez. <laughs> Yo, honestly, like, uh, I, I don't think I've ever messed with a girl's friend. Okay. Right, that's never. Ha- I don't think that's ever. Ha- oh, that's not true. I'm lying to myself. Yeah, if a girl didn't work out, it's not like you really even dated her. You know, you could date her friends. Yeah, you yeah. just date her once. You wouldn't have sex with her because the chemistry was shit. Like you could date all her friends, man. Like yeah. she's like, oh, Kevin Sanchez said no to Janine. Oh shit, I gotta suck. I gotta suck his dick and, and have no <laughs> list. Have no listerine, you know. Yo, honestly, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not without kind of it's without listerine, and you're like, I pulled out on the inhale. <laughs> yeah, I pulled out on the inhale all day. <laughs> All That's day. fucking great, dude. The merch, the merch possibilities with you two. It's I gonna mean, be like, crazy. yeah, yeah, like pull, pull out on the inhale. <laughs> That's a t-shirt I'd spend thirty bucks on. Easy, <laughs> easy. And I wouldn't even pay all that shit because you guys are so funny, and the merch would just churn out and be so helpful to everybody. It's like I wouldn't even pay all that shit, like Patreon and bullshit. It's just like just sell the merch because your, your merch, your low end jiglo merch, was fantastic. I was telling Joshua Pala that black t-shirt with the white font. Oh, th- thank you, brother. I appreciate yeah. that. Oh, that was gorgeous. Um, yeah, we're gonna. Uh, well, we got first of all, we can't pay wall anything because we're not known comics yet. You know, that's the problem with stand up. Yeah. Well, that's the problem with any field you get into. You're not known at first. It don't matter how talented you are. You got to become a good marketer somehow. Yeah. You know? Or you got to have people that believe in you enough. Yeah. That, oh, this guy's talented and he works pretty hard. He just doesn't know this aspect of the field. Yeah. Who are willing to work with you, right? Yeah. Like uh, we have a great producer of the podcast named Jalen. Mm-hmm. And uh, he works with uh, his girlfriend. Um, oh my god, I can't believe I'm blanking on her name. You did a show with her. Um, oh, I did. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, Leonardo uh, Leonardo, Joni. Leonardo Joni. Yeah, yeah, exactly. she's funny. Super funny chick. Yeah. Fucking, uh, just uh, uh, all around good comic. And and her boyfriend Jalen and just likes to be behind the scenes. You know. Yeah. And he came up to me and Josh, and he was like, "Hey, I want to start a podcast network, and I want you guys to come up with a podcast." Good. Uh, well, he went up to Josh, and and Josh, when I came back from North Carolina, like, last month, he was like, Kev, we got to do this. And I was like, of course, let's do it. I don't give a fuck. Let's go. Yeah. That's amazing, because you, you guys, the minute you guys go on something like, like, Shooter's Gotta Shoot is a pretty big podcast where it's from the girls' perspective, like, girls dating and things like that. So Erica Spare is a comedian. She was on my show real funny, and I, I think the podcast is going really well. And, like, just you guys guesting on that show once everybody listening to that show would be like holy holy shit i also need the male perspective on this shit let me fucking you know watch mac almanac yo bro that's exactly what we want man and we really want to help people like i really want to help motherfuckers i feel like i've been around a while not a while at least i'm only 29 i get it but like i've been actively dating i have this crazy dating life Oh sure, decade you know? decade experience. That's a lot of that's a lot of Listerine chicks. A lot, yo. Listen, <laughs> listen, man. <laughs> I love that listen. shit. Have you ever seen that? Um, you ever seen the Steve Harvey show? 
Oh, uh, I think I probably have. Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there was a, well, he was a teacher. Oh no, not the sitcom. No, but it was a sitcom he had. Okay. And one of the guys there, I think his name was Romeo, right? He looked like Tupac to me. Wow, maybe it right? was. And he was a he was in high school. Now I wish it was Tupac, man. Uh, <laughs> and he was in high school, and he was trying to uh, back into this chick, right? Okay. I, by the way, that's every black sitcom was like the main <laughs> good-looking black dude macking it to every girl. Yes, you saw, you know. Yes, and um, he goes up to this uh, girl. He finally gets her to agree, and then like he he realized he never was up and close and personal with her. And when he finally does get that close to her. Her breath stunk terribly, like a bag of cocks. And the whole episode, the whole episode for the next fifteen minutes is him actively trying to give a listerine. Yes, that's awesome. Yeah, so I was yeah. like, <laughs> well, you got to do that with your friend, that one chick who gets all the dick. Yo, so she she's the best. Though. I wouldn't even. It's not her breath, by the way. It's her body odor. Sounds like like semen. <sighs> Damn, she's so fucking hot though. I can just feel her hotness through things. And you guys are gonna have to help me along because, dude, I was I was a Mac in eighth grade, dude. I got the Prince. Char <laughs> I got the dude. I got the uh, the Prince Charming Award in eighth grade. Man, the middle school chicks love me, dude. I was I was banging let me, it. Let me ask you a question, Brian. Okay. All right. How much porn are you watching? Uh, I'd say, uh, you know, you know, I'm just pretty. You know, I mean, at least daily. What about you? Of, of, listen, you know what? Recently, I try to. I, I've been back at daily. Um, like the last couple days has been daily, okay. but like for like before the last couple, let's say a couple of, for a couple of weeks there, every couple of days, every four days or something like that. I was trying to wean off of it because yeah. like I do realize that like you know I was being overly stimulated, oh. and so it kind of affects how you're how you're approaching women. Yeah, yeah, it, it does affect how you approach women, and I think. You know, something fucked up is porn and Bill Burr. Oh, I watch a lot of that too. So Bill Burr fucked me up because he taught yeah? me something. Yeah, he fucked me up. And I love Bill Burr. Yeah, maybe he fucked me up too. He's going to be on SNL. I worry he's going to get canceled. No, he's not going to get You can't cancel. He's uncancelable now. Well, yeah, I mean, it's true fans. But, dude, once the broader public gets a hold of him, he'll never be on SNL again. Uh, who cares? Yeah, I don't care. As long as he does yeah. specials all day long. Just maybe do he'll it. start doing specials instead of cartoons again. <laughs> uh, he put out his last special. It was pretty good. Paper oh, Tiger. Oh, no, yeah. Paper Tiger was great, but it's just like, you know, like the worst case scenario, if he got canceled, would he would just keep doing specials, well, see, which, is a, which is a good thing. We, yeah. we like that a lot. Um, but so Bill Burr, in one of his specials, he says something. And when he said something, he said this, I'm going to tell you what it is. And it, it just clicked for me. Like, okay. oh, I don't need to worry about this. I got my hand. Right. He said. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. He goes, I know what you're saying. Yeah, when, just, when you got a ham sandwich in your pocket. Yeah, the ham sandwich in your pocket. <laughs> And he goes, he goes, yeah, if your girl's mad at you, who gives a fuck? Just whack one off. Yeah, rub one out. Rub one out. Get That's the a champagne, champagne victory. <laughs> That's and, what I'm thinking, right? Yo, honestly, it changed, my, it changed my life. Right, it but you're saying watch it too much of that. Well, you know, that and porn will get the, you conditioned that you never need a woman again. Exactly. And honestly, you need to, the problem I think is you need to want your woman. And if you think like, oh, I have this sandwich in my pocket all the time. You lose the lust for her. Oh yeah. Oh right? no. I, I, yeah. I'd never like when when I have a woman, I turn into a little bitch, and that's why. So I like like I don't have that problem. It's just you have to convince me that that's a bad thing. Like but me your, being like being like I don't need a woman because I got a ham sandwich in my pocket. Like you have to convince me. No. Oh no. You should have a woman. I'm like, well, why? I mean, more more women, more problems. Like the the nonstop drama. Like I wouldn't be talking with Kevin Sanchez, laugh my ass off today. Because I'd be off dating a woman at night. Like, I have 15 <laughs> comedians a day, man. Something's got to give. I'm not going to, like, you know, be all serious with a girlfriend and still get shit done. I mean, I guess you can, and that's what you have to teach us. And that's the other thing. Like, I really would love to see either of you discuss stuff like that. It's like, okay, guess. That's what guess we're what discussing. I'll tell you what we discussed last week, and you're going to tell me if this is good, okay? Yeah. I got it from Josh Pallet. Josh Pallet produced the, the second episode. I think that okay. was the second episode. Okay. And, uh, and I'm going to produce the next one. Okay. Uh, well, you know what's the worst about these fucking apps is that I can never find them. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I don't use it on my phone. Smartphones are new for me. So, uh, let me see. Okay, last time we talked about uh, money rolls. Who pays for what? Okay. Yeah. On first dates, vacation, right? And vacations. 
uh, the old school mentality of a guy pay versus neo feminism liberalism, where yeah. the women either want to go half and half or they pay. Yeah. And then, um, and then, and then we went off from there, you know. Good. And then, I mean, I, I like it, especially now though. Like some people are losing their work to the point where you're like, whichever chick, whichever person has money. Like if you guys are stuck in quarantine or whatever, and one of you has money, it's like you guys are like, let's get the fuck out of here before we break up. Like, like sometimes it's so unequal in a relationship that. It's like which spouse has the fucking dough and is the other spouse kind of doing something to make sure that, you know, he or she is lift is is lifting his weight. But, yeah, I mean, if everything's equal, though, I'm all for Dutch and half and half. But I'd be totally interested in you guys talking about that. But I'd also be interested in t- you talking about the ham sandwich and like the fact that, you know, you, you, you went from daily to like occasionally. And I'd love to see how that kind of you know, slowed your role as far as, you know, your approach to women and things like that. But I mean, Mac Almanac is the best name ever. I hope you have some. I know it's not just for pimps, but with a name like Mac Almanac, you need some pimp music, I think. Oh, we got to find, I mean, listen, that's going to come with time when the pod- yeah. podcast blows up a little bit. Yes. And, and I really hope it does. Yes. Um, but then, you know, are, we're going to like, hopefully we'll get fans who will want to like work with us and send us, the, you know, some music. Like we, we want it to be yeah. like, very interactive, like all the best podcasts out there, you know? Yeah, and I think you probably, you know, some people, I have uh, I had Stephen Rogers on and um, Andrew Shavona, they're both big time comics, and they had the, the anxiety, what it's called panic attacking. And what they do before every episode is they hit their Facebook um, network for soliciting what has made you anxious today or this week. Mm. And that's how everybody just be like, okay, this, this, and this. And I think that makes people listen. Because they're like, I submitted to this podcast today, and they're going to talk about it. Of course, I'm going to listen. Like that's just amazing. Like you know, bringing a romantic difficulty to Kevin Sanchez and Joshua Pallet. These are these are PhDs in Mac Almanac, baby. Yo, baby. Now, I mean, listen, right, right, right. You know what it is, baby. Dude, nobody's, uh, dude, nobody's, but you guys are, dude, I mean, you're good looking cast, but you guys are both the funniest motherfuckers with personality plus, so I can't wait to see it. And we're going to track all that, live with Sanchez or live with Sanchez. Live Do with you guys Sanchez. have the the URLs for, like, the social handles for we Mac have, Almanac yet? We're setting all that up. We already have it. Yeah. We already have it. The Mac Almanac, uh, a.k.a. TMA, which I love the initials more than I actually love the name. Does that mean, uh... <laughs> I, it rhymes, man. Mac Almanac is great, man. Especially if you guys are, yeah. I mean, I know it's not all for pimps, but it's like if you follow the Mac Almanac, you can go from loser to 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 adequate, and that's yo, you bro, know I and, need and to Mac Almanac for that, bro. Honestly, yo, the truth is, I I mean, we're gonna talk about all the little things, but the truth yeah. is, if you got enough belief in yourself yeah. and you gotta feel good, bro, yeah. the problem is you gotta feel. Like, we talk about like appearance and like and like yo, listen. People like to, this is, I've been working on this bit actually. Like, people love to say that they support fat people and how they look, <laughs> right? But that's only, that's only on social media. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Get on Tinder and see a fat person's Tinder profile. <laughs> Dude, right? I'm, over, I'm overweight, man. I'll tell you from firsthand experience, man. Romantic, yeah. You going on dating apps, being a fat dude, it's like you're going to swipe left or whatever the bad swipe is. No, I've been on my, this is like my uh, fourth fat. This is like I'm, I'm, I've been like five, four, yeah. five times. Dude. Me too. Me too. Okay. I lose weight. I, I'm a yo-yo man. I can lose a hundred and gain a hundred. Yo, bro. And I've been a dime piece before. I've been a dime piece, and I've been uh, a fat guy. And let me tell yeah. you something. Ten times out of ten times, I want to be the dime piece because yeah. that life. I lived that life for two, three years. Yeah. It is insane how many <laughs> things just open up for you. Yeah. The dude. world that opens. People walk up to me on the streets and be like, I got a girl. I can't date you because I have a boyfriend or I'm married <laughs> or I have this girl. People, pe- girl, women will walk up to me at my uh, at the job I had to say yeah. shit like that to me. <laughs> I made out with three Canadian chicks one time at the same time. Oh my Lord. At my job, which allowed me to do it because I was so hot at the time. <laughs> You were racking up the stories, man. That now you're my, gonna need to. Are you? You're, but you're on a fourth fat. Now you're gonna get skinny again, or no? I, I'm lo- I'm losing weight because honestly, I'm losing weight because um, uh, unfortunately, I want to get famous only okay. because only so I can sell tickets. I don't care about yeah. anything else. I just want to sell tickets on the road. Yeah, you're like Bill. You're like Bill Burr in that regard, man. You just gotta get famous so people come to your fucking shows. But once they hear you and Joshua, it's gonna be fucking the end. This this podcast is gonna be huge. So, oh, I dude, I, I followed all live with Sanchez. And so, can I look at TMA or, or the Mac Almanac on Instagram or Twitter right now? Or what? Uh, there's, I mean, you can uh, definitely follow it, but there's nothing there right now. Okay, like, but just, I can follow it though. Yeah, yeah. Okay, 
So well, wait, well, I, dude, I can't fucking wait. You guys are hilarious motherfuckers. The Mac Almanac, Kevin Sanchez, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you, my brother. I appreciate it. Cop- Is it coping? It's copping, man. But I, dude, you can, as long as you're teaching me the ways of the Mac, dude, you can call me wherever the fuck you like. No, I love copping. Yo, copping. Yo, is do you want your first name out there or no? Yeah, Brian Coppin, dude. And so hook me up with your non walrus friends, dude. Real Brian Coppin, I got you, baby. Dude, and then maybe, maybe you'll come on to uh, the Mac Almanac and we'll discuss anything you want to discuss. Dude, I'm going to get trashed like Jonathan Kaplan, man. Let me tell you, you guys will be like, <laughs> look at this dude. Now we're wearing a go. condom with his long term girlfriend. So, Kevin, thank you so much, man. All right, man. Remember, okay. pull out on the inhale. <laughs> That's the first merch I buy. Kevin Sanchez, peace. Uh, peace.